Hey everyone, Melissa here and welcome back to my channel. So this is my How to Colour Kit with Style kit for September and I'm aware that I'm a few days late getting this up but um, once again, better late than never. Um, I was going to work on my December daily for 2019. I'm halfway through it and I wanted to finish it but I think I'm going to save that for next month just because I'm just adjusting to having a lot more design team projects and a few other commitments that I've made. So um, I've decided to just go through my stash and pick a collection that I need to finish up or um, work with, I guess. And so what I have pulled is the Lovely Moments collection from Pebbles. And I was really, really blessed to win um, a lot of this collection last year. And I've made a few layouts with it, but I still have um, quite a lot left. And I'd like to see um, whether I can attempt to kill this kit. So, yeah, I'll start with the papers and then I'll show you the embellishments and also what I intend on adding to the kit from my stash. So I have two full sheets of 12 by 12 paper left. I believe I got um, the full set of 12 by 12 paper and I'm not sure how many papers were in here. But anyway, um, you can always look it up online and see. So this one is called Cruisin' and it's like a, um, it's not like, it is <laughs> a tandem bike. So that's really cute. And I love the craft and white pops that are in this collection. And then here, this one is called Flower Burst. Not loving that, but I love that. Then we have um, a whole lot of scraps. So obviously there's a cut apart and um, I've used it. So it was called Lovely Tags, Banners. The B-side was um, horseshoes, which I wouldn't use. Tags, more banners. So this collection I think is really aimed at card making as well as scrapbooking. More scraps that looks like it comes from that sheet as well. So does those, so do those. And that. Then I have some branding strips off other sheets that I have used and I've kept them because um, you just never know if you're going to use them. And another piece from that colour part, and then just little bits and pieces that come from the six by or not six by six, six by eight. Um, yeah, I keep everything as you can see. And um, this would have been a full sheet that I've fussy cut a lot of, so I'm going to fussy cut the rest of those as well. This beautiful piece, I don't have the name of it, but oops, it is a baking wedding cake kind of paper. This one is called Strawberry Fields, so that's really pretty. And so is that, and that's just adorable. This one is called Blooms. I think I've fussy cut some of them, and that's lovely as well. So there's black and craft in this, which I really like. This one is called Bot Botanical Rose, and that's another one that could easily be fussy cut, and it's really pretty, as is the Abisai, which is just a beautiful light pink. And then this one is full of wreaths and I think I made, yeah, I made a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict and I made it live during, um, I can't remember what the celebration was, but we did a whole lot of lives when I was on the design team and I made an interactive layout with a mini album attached to it with one of Virginia's cut files and I think I used one of these. So these would be cute to put some journaling in or just use them as a layering piece and it's called Sprigs. And the B-side is another beautiful floral that you could fussy cut as well. And then this one I've used for a layout I made for CSI. And this one is called Pokies. I guess cactuses, cacti. And a green, I don't really care for that kind of green. But it's probably good for a layering piece. So that's really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Six by eight paper pad. Here we have a whole lot of scraps that I've kept. But I think um, I'll flip through it anyway so you can see. Okay, if you hear the noise in the background, um, Brielle's got a little friend over to play and she's very, very excited and they are very, very loud. So, yeah. Okay, so these are, you know, the same patterns but scaled down. So this is giving you a good idea of everything that's in the collection. This has some gold foil detailing as well. 
so that's always lovely to get in a smaller paper pad and of course I love using the uh, 6x6 or 6x8 paper pads to back cut files and also I like it for the cut apart sheets in a smaller size so I've probably already oh here we go I was gonna say I've cut them apart and I have but you can see there that those are quite a nice size if you like to scrap smaller photos so the rest of it is all um, scraps so that's that um, let's put down this just so it's nicer than my mat um, I've got the puffy dots I've used a few of those I've got the stamp set that I haven't I haven't used any of so I'm keen to use that I have the phrase ephemera and you can see there what's in there um, I don't have the other ephemera pack we've got the shaker stickers and I think I've used one of them so they're really really cute and I've got the stickers and so like with many collections now um, they're putting together look at how many stickers are in here a six a six sheet sticker pack so we've got these which would be quite good for card making as well so phrase banners some icons got these wreaths in the translucent which is really lovely um, to use them as layering I know some people find translucent stickers hard to use so maybe I can do some focus product fo focus on how to use them translucent leaves and gold foil really really pretty as well and look lovely under these kind of florals and fussy cut florals so these are some clusters of florals and you can see they're not Oops, they are not translucent they're like a cardstock sticker more translucent stickers um, also lovely for card making and these would go really well if you had some literal white space on a photo so that is those um, and of course challenging for me always is washi tape um, we've got some florals a couple of florals here uh, a gold floral detail a craft a sort of a light red gingham green and white stripe I'm not sure if that would be white or not or is it clear it's hard to tell isn't it when they're all laid together yeah it's a clear it's but quite a pale green we've got a phrase washi and then another little cute phrase washi so it'd be good if I could use up some of these or not use them up but attempt to use them and from my stash I'm going to add these pink paisley lucky us heart stickers I think they'll go quite well uh, with the pink and red tones in the collection I've got some Carter Bella decorative brads and some chipboard pieces let's see when these came out does it have the year it doesn't have the year but this would have come in a hip kit at some stage some really really old die cut phrases from dear Lizzie I'm just gonna try to see what the year is 2015 so wouldn't it be amazing to get these used up or some of them used up so you know some are made for water coloring they're kind of a off-white so I definitely want to add some mixed media to these stay wild and then some are colored don't know if these tones are gonna go or not we'll have to just well maybe actually gonna have to work with the kit and see but I think it was definitely fun to add something old into the kit as well because one of the best ways to use up older product is to mix it with new and then these are the pink fresh joyful day puffy phrase stickers and I've you know made done quite a good job in using these and when I saw these I didn't get joyful day I should have I missed it but I had to get these so I think the tones actually are gonna go really well of these and these with my kit so yeah that is my kit I don't know how um how much I'm going to get done how much I'm going to kill but I definitely I'll be happy if I make maybe four to five layouts with it it is a smaller kit for me I think because there's not much uh, large sheets of pattern paper left but yeah I'm really excited to get into this kit um do have a look below in my description and you'll be able to follow the other ladies that are playing along this month so yeah thanks for watching and You'll see me again really soon.